Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Ford Mustang Match E. This is the extended battery version and also it's all wheel drive so it has two motors and in this video we will make the full review interior exterior and at the end of this video you will find out everything you need to know about this new Match E. Also if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button to see all the new videos that will come on my channel. Also if you want to see the test drive, if you want to see the video with the multimedia system, the Android Auto, how to connect uh, your phone, check out the other videos on my channel. If they are not already there just subscribe to see the notification when the video will come out. Also I will leave the link uh, in the description to the car so if you want to check out the car, technical data, if you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, you can check out the Tehach Willy uh, website and you can come here and uh, test the car and also uh, buy it if you want to. By the way, the price of the car at least here in Switzerland it's around 68 69,000 francs this extended version full option version and in my opinion it's totally deserved you will see why I say that as we go in the video because the car has a lot of great quality materials and stuff like that so let's start it the car come with two electric motors that why produce 346 horsepower also it comes with an automatic transmission it's a ECVT it's a special transmission for electric car uh, also the estimated range VLTP it's 540 kilometers with this bigger battery also the consumption 16.5 kilowatt hour and the battery uh, size is 98.9 kilowatt hour it's a big battery actually this is one of the biggest battery on an electric car uh, if it, we don't take into consideration the Tesla Model S and Tesla Model X, it's probably one of the biggest battery in an electric car, so it's impressive, almost 100 kilowatt battery. Of course, you can charge it at rapid, fast charging station in DC with 150 kilowatt hour maximum. The car is speed limited to 180 kilometers, I don't know why. And also, they said you can go 0 to 107 seconds, but when I test drive the car, if you didn't see the video, check it out. I said there that I feel the car can do even better than that. I think you can get some five seconds without any problem. Uh, I'm really curious to check out what the other reviewers said about that, but I think it's much more faster. I didn't test it, but I should test it. In the front, ventilated brake discs. Also, it comes with four pistons uh, on the brakes, red caliper brakes, great brakes. It looks super sporty. And also in the back, we have uh, brake discs, also red calipers. It looks gorgeous. The car comes with 19 inch rims. They look really good. They fit perfect with the car. Uh, I'm surprised that they didn't try to make it more aerodynamic like the other car company used to and they leave it like more of a sporty look and nicer look the trunk space 502 liters and if you fold down all the way the seats you will have 1420 liters the suspension front suspension uh, come with independent mcpherson suspension coil spring with anti-roll bars in the rear multi-link coil spring uh, with anti-roll bars so uh, those are the technical data guys i hope i didn't miss something now we will go on the exterior and then we will go in the interior and i try to show you every single detail about this car and i will give you also my opinion at the end of the video so let's do it guys so let's start with the key here is the key it's a light key uh, also you have this mustang uh, horse on it looks great also with the key of course you can open the the trunk push it two times and you have automatic lift gate in the trunk that's awesome feature also you can close it two times again press it and you can close that uh, that's not happened with all the cars on the market today and this is a great feature I want to point this out also the car come of course with uh, electronic mirrors or electronic folding mirrors you can lock and unlock from here and also the cool part is that you for example, you forget your key home. Uh, this feature is unique. You don't find it in other cars. You come to the car and of course you cannot open the car. Right now I can open because I have the key. But for example, you don't have the key right here. The car gives you the option to put a code right here, a pin code, like you will do it on your phone. And then after you put your pin code right here, you press the button and you will unlock the car. How cool is that? I mean, it's, it's awesome. And look, look at the handles. Look how unique are the handles, guys. You have a button here, 
the same as on the computer. And if you want to unlock the car, you do it like that with two fingers. One you hold it here and one you put it there. How nice is that? <laughs> How cool is that? Look at this. You go here and then you do like that. Fuck. And you open the car. It's super easy. Much more easier than with the Tesla Model 3 when you have to push it and pull it and stuff like that. You just press this button and open the car. Just, just impressive. Love that. Now, the only kind of downside in the back on the back doors is the same story, the same button here, but you don't have this little handle. I don't know why they didn't add this little black glossy handle even in the back here. In the back, you, you have the same story. You go here, you press that, but you have to open the door with your hands wherever you can uh, around here. So yeah, it's not a downside. I mean, for me, it doesn't matter. It's also cool, but it's something to notice uh, in the back, that's something to, to keep in mind. Also, by the way, the doors quality are very, very good. So don't expect anything else from the car because it's amazing quality. Now look at the exterior design, guys. A proper Mustang. Exterior design, it's incredible, beautiful. And I find it one of the most beautiful electric car in this class. Is this my opinion? I don't know what, uh, what's your opinion, guys. I'm really curious to, to, to hear about you write me in the comments and tell me what you think but in my opinion one of the most beautiful electric car in this class incredible beautiful nice shape sporty design aggressive front uh, even the the roof spoiler the, the the wings everything the lines look crazy crazy even the, the lights in the back look super aggressive like a mustang they keep the same shape the same design full led lights for turning signals and full led lights for brake for tail lights, for everything. They are incredible nice. And also glossy plastic, well integrated right here. Same aggressive and nice design, lovely. Actually for me, look, look great. And also I like how intelligent they insert the turning signals in the same space, kind of a half, half is tail light, half is uh, turning signals. And when the turning signal not working, it's only tail light. So it's really intelligent the way they they created so i find it very very uh, cool really cool uh, led lights on the number plate keep in mind this as well um, and you have here the fog lamps they are leds wow nice and the reverse light i think it's also here and it's also led so everything is led up here you have this beautiful horse logo aggressive and always in the move and then you have the camera right here guys reverse camera so uh, the car comes with 360 degrees camera. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's an all wheel drive, two motors. So keep this in mind when you see this on the left side here. Then in the back, you have six parking sensors, four for parking sensors. And those on the side are for the blind spot technology. Also, you have some light reflectors, red light reflectors right here. And then of course, any exhaust pipes or stuff like that, you have just glossy plastic on the down bumper. That looks quite sporty, quite nice design. That's it, on the other side, the same story. This is the back. I like very much the way they design the radio antenna. It's, it's the same color as the car. And I like this, this part here very much. This roof spoiler look incredible nice. Very well integrated, very well. They continuing here. Um, you have the brake light here, LED, of course, in the middle. But the design of it look uh, spectacular, nice, sporty. I don't know, many words. Really nice, integrated with the car. And even this wing here in the back, muscular wing, uh, look spectacular, sportier, nicer. I like the car. Glossy plastic here on the down part around the windows. Uh, glossy here between the windows. Uh, on the upper side, you don't have glossy, you have a normal rubber. But other than that, this glossy look really good on the car. I don't know why they didn't add also glossy up here, but overall look gorgeous. Here on the mirrors, you have blind spot technology here, big mirrors, great visibility. I drive the car and it's great visibility. Other than that, nice aerodynamic. The mirrors are in black. 
you have a camera here for 360 degrees camera, also LED lights on the turning signals. Here you can see a Ford logo and also there you have the cameras and all that safety features. Camera that can read the traffic speed limit, also reading the traffic signs. It helps with lane assist and stuff like that. We have that aggressive lines, not sure you can see it. You have two aggressive, aggressive lines. Uh, that looks awesome. I mean, the hood looks spectacular. Aggressive round shapes here. Look at this front. Crazy aggressive and nice. Now, going to the lights here in the front, the same story, full LED lights, the latest technology in terms of light is here. Uh, adaptive lights, uh, turning signals LED, daylight LED, everything it's LED and it looks in a big way. In my opinion, it looks super, super beautiful. In the front here, you have kind of a sh shape, fake grill, uh, glossy plastic. You have the, the horse in the middle, beautiful integrated uh, camera here for 360 degrees. But other than that, it's just uh, nothing here. It's just the paint. It's an electric car, so you don't need that uh, front huge grill right here. Uh, if you go down a little bit, you have the radar in the middle. This is the radar for adaptive cruise control and all that safety features and here you have some pedals clappers where the air come in and then let the air to go in to the radiator and then inside to the battery to cool down the systems uh, from the car and those pedals they are closed when the car is uh, off they will close like this and then we will be the same design as here really interesting i like this system i like the way they design it it's unique and nice and i find it Really cool for electric cars, really, really cool. Also very nice, the bumper come down here with some glossy plastic on the down part. Uh, I like the way they design it. Six sensors in the front, of course. Uh, those on the side are for blind spot technology. But other than that, very beautiful design. Love the way they do everything. I mean, I don't know, I like it. You have also some kind of light reflector in, in yellow like a bicycle I don't know why they add it. They are useful in the nighttime. Then you have this glossy black plastic around the wheel, uh, the edges of the wheels that protect the car, the paint of the car. You don't have to repaint the car. You just change those plastics when you scratch it or stuff like that, and you're good to go. And also they last longer uh, in this area where a lot of rust occur in time. So it's protected this area here. That's important for me and I love the way they do it. Even down here, all over the down part, under the doors, you have this glossy plastic that look uh, gorgeous in my opinion, very well integrated with the car and also very well protect the down part of the car. Now, the ground clearance of the car, even though it's kind of a cross SUV, it's not so high. So don't expect to have a high ground clearance. I'm not sure how big it is, but it's pretty low to be honest. So you have to pay attention to the ground. Sometimes it's not so nice to hit your electric car under. Going forward, you have this Match E4X. So four wheel drive, that mean, and you have it right it here on the side. Pretty nice, pretty cool, lovely, 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 lovely. This is the car, guys. Also, you can check it out from the side. In my opinion, beautiful. Now here is the charging port on the left side of the driver. You have a DC, rapid charging station, 150 kilowatt maximum. Uh, speed so you can charge your car at home you can charge it at the rapid station fast charging station and wherever i mean it's it's great to have this option it's more than enough the the maximum speed uh, to charge the car in probably two hours maximum zero to 100 i should say two hours depend on the weather uh, realistic i mean now going forward 19 inch rims bridgestone tires pretty much gum uh, it was really comfortable while I test drive it. Uh, then you have this uh, ventilated brake disc, huge brake discs. Then you have red calipers with four pistons. Really nice and sporty. They look quite crazy. And the rims look super sporty. They didn't try to make it aerodynamic. They didn't try to make it flat like the other car manufacturer. They said, we want to make an electric car, but we want to make it look like a combustion engine car, like an aggressive car. We don't care much about aerodynamic at least that's what i'm thinking <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm wrong anyway in the back you have red calipers you have brake discs not ventilated but brake discs not drums like on the other cars and other than that in the back the same story same uh, arch to protect here uh, the paint and also same uh, 
reflector, light reflector in, in yellow. Six cylinders, 400 horsepower and some storage space here. Anyway guys, just joking. Here you have a storage space, something that you don't find in some of the other electric cars on the market today. And to be honest, this space here, it looks much bigger than what you have on the Tesla Model 3. It's really spacious and they add those plastics to kind of separate between them uh, the different stuff. Also you have an emergency button here to unlock it and LED light for the nighttime. Great, the wipers, Liquid is here, easy to access, I like that. That is not back there or everywhere. It's right here, easy to access, love it. And also, if I'm not wrong, here's the battery, I think, somewhere, or I don't know why they show you, plus and minus. Anyway, uh, the 12 volt battery, I mean, should be somewhere around there, anyway. Also, what I like very much about this Mustang is the fact that they think not only at this area, but they think about this area up. You have some rubbers here, really cool to protect this uh, trunk in the front. And you have this logo here. Look how cool it is. I mean, it's interesting. Check this out, something that you don't find on other cars. Tesla didn't even care about this area. You have just <laughs> the paint of the car, just like that. I mean, it's something a plus. Other than that, the same system to close the door as you find it on the Tesla. I just push it with two hands. You have a button here. Press the button, automatic lift gate, and here we are. The button to close it again, then you have some handles. I love the fact that they leave this here. I don't have to pull something, I don't have to take it out, I don't have to worry about where I put this when I carry stuff, because you have this up here. You can also take it out without any problem, super simple from here. Take it out, take it out, and then you can carry your stuff huge entrance i love the entrance in the car it's quite a huge trunk to be honest you can see it also from this angle a little bit better in my opinion super big trunk super sportier and i love it you have some plastic at the entrance you don't have a completely flat floor so you have like three centimeters here uh, but you have hooks hooks in every corner you have the speaker here you have a 12 volt port you have a hooks for the groceries you have led lights and in the middle of the LED lights, you have a nice horse logo. I love that, it's unique. And also, I have another light, another horse up here. Great, great design. Some storage space under the floor. You have also some storage space here, a small one, repair kit and stuff like that. Probably the cables should be around here to charge the car. And yeah, that's it, nothing else. Now, maybe the only downside that I find out on the car is the fact that you cannot fold down the middle part. So to carry long items in the same time to have two passengers in the back, so you have to fold it um, completely or you have to fold 40, 60, just like that, 40. But you can fold it super simple. You stretch out a little bit and then fold it. And then this is it. This is the space. Huge space and you have a flat floor. That's respect. I mean, the fact that they, they do it in a flat way it's a lot of respect for, for Ford and also I like the quality here. It's really good. Now, this is it guys. What do you think? It's pretty practical. Pretty, pretty practical. Great space in my opinion. Really great. Now, going in the back, simple press the button, open the door and then you have a big entrance. I should say it's, it's really big entrance here. Uh, and then look at the space from this angle. Huge, huge space. It's quite a big, big trunk. Even down here on the legs room, you have a flat floor, no transmission tunnel, no problem for, for free people here. Uh, it's incredible good. I mean, I really appreciate what they do. The only thing that's missing is the glass roof. Where is the glass roof? I'm not sure if you can get it as an option, but it will be nice to have a glass roof. Really nice. Anyway, now if you want to put everything back, all you have to do is just press this button, go on this side, open the door, push it back. In one second, you put it back. And then let's go on the other side. And then here, you put the seat belt like that in the right way and push it back. And that's it, that's all. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the door. You have a big window here from one pieces. I like that. And if you wanna fold it down, let's see, you fold it almost down. 
it stayed there a little bit but other than that pretty cool i like the fact that you have soft material everywhere here it's soft so it's premium soft and leather here some chrome design insertion a small speaker soft 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 everywhere then you have here leather with red stitches also we have the sound system uh, this uh, boo so you have this great great sound system in the car uh, also storage space plenty of storage space here and to be honest something that I like it something how you open the door because you don't have the handle there so it's a nice system all you have to do is just pull this mechanical stuff actually it's mechanical here but uh, the door is electrically closed so it's super simple to do that just by uh, doing that and it's a nice nice way to put your two fingers there so I like it big entrance in the car as I said before a lot of space here in the car also I sit there and it's super super space something that I like very much are those seats the special seats they are not leather it's kind of a vegan leather it's kind of a soft nice material I like it it, it looks like leather it feels like uh, soft I don't know like a cream like a cream on leather I don't know how to, to explain you. it's super nice and soft and also it's very very uh, softy here it's like a pillow you know that memory pillows uh, or memory beds but much softer 20% softer imagine that if you can imagine that those are the seats incredible soft incredible nice comfortable and you can see they are not designed it's super sporty they don't make that crazy side support here they kind of flat it out for free people to stay here without any problem i love them to be honest i like them very much i like the design i like the the feeling i like the uh, the comfort on them so they are cool and also with these red stitches you can install two child seats here in the back without any problem uh, also in the middle you have a flat floor here you can see three people can sit without any problems they are super super nice also they are long they are bright no problem now here in the middle you have a center console with two cup holders very useful uh, also in this same material and then if you go uh, behind the front seats you have the same nice uh, soft material here uh, storage space and then in the middle you have here some vents USB-C USB 2 yeah and then uh, down here you can leave your uh, legs without problem let me go inside now let me close the door by the way what I notice is that the sound insulation in the car it's incredible good uh, check out the test drive there I tell you more about that but very good sound insulation uh, the roof quality it's very very good very premium you have a handle here you have LED lights also here uh, pretty good quality and also when I sit on those seats it's incredible softy 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 nice and look at the space by the way let me show you first time the seats in the front it's quite normal position and then this is the space huge space on my knees uh, I didn't expect that I feel like I'm on a huge SUV uh, and I can stretch my legs under the front seat without any problem uh, indeed indeed you have like four fingers no three fingers here you know like electric cars because the battery is down there but if you stretch the legs you don't have any problem and also uh, my head space it's relatively perfect I mean three four five six, five five six fingers almost uh, amazing the visibility it's gorgeous because you don't have anything here in this area from this area forward you have a great visibility I love it and you still have a small window here uh, but when you sit normal normal position you have a great visibility perfect I love it I love it let's go in the middle let's see in the middle how is oh how easy I go in the middle because it's it's straight it's like a sofa like a straight sofa I can go very easily in the middle here and then this is the space plenty of head space stretch my hand mm, yeah completely stretch my hand wow more than complete so incredible I mean what you can have three people here without any problem I think they think about that 
they want to do that because that way they make it flat here so free people free person uh, i can stay even with my legs guys together and also look at the leg room plenty of leg room you can have free people here without any problem in the back for long trips because it's comfy it's nice uh, the only thing it's a little bit on my back here in the middle i feel like it's too strong this uh, armrest but down is good in the back it's a little bit uh, stronger so maybe for long trips will be a little bit comfortable but from the space it's, it's perfect anyway now guys we will go in the front there is more interesting for for most of you and i will show you the dashboard uh, we will talk about the dash we will talk about the multimedia system cockpit steering wheel all that features in the front and yeah what can i say let's go in the front guys big window good visibility in the mirrors as i said before the same great high soft quality material here on the upper side chrome again leather here or i'm not sure if it's leather but it's also this soft kind of leather material soft nice here uh, then you have those button lock and unlock and also you have free position of saving the seats because the car comes with electric seats in the front and you can save your position from here free uh, position to save that's awesome then you have the same kind of leather here i'm not sure if this is leather or the same material as the seats but you have this kind of leather uh, then you have those red stitches then you have the controls for the windows for the mirrors you can adjust the mirrors you can lock it unlock it and do all kind of electric stuff and then you have plenty of storage space even here you have kind of a storage space storage space storage space a lot of storage space the speaker it's really nice integrated in this kind of uh, fabric material you can see right here uh, gorgeous sound system. I, I heard a little bit of music before and it's, it's perfect. I like very much this Mustang plate at the entrance. I think this is the most beautiful plate I ever seen. One of the most beautiful plate I ever seen at the entrance in the front. Really beautiful. Aluminum pedals, also great pedals. And then here you open the, the front. Electric adjustable seats from here. You can adjust the seats in every position you want and if you go up a little bit you can see the seats the same as in the back the same material beautiful design love the combination of red stitches and here you have some kind of side support side support and the same soft material and nice super soft look at this incredible soft you have to try those seats it's they are they are gorgeous and also they look really good everything look good from this angle the center console the armrest even go on this area uh the the dashboard it's new and futuristic and modern and nice i love it adjustable steering wheel from here you can adjust the steering wheel manually forward backward up down uh, then you have also the same leather on the on the dashboard here red stitches some kind of uh, plastic here with a nice trim and then you have the same speaker here you have a speaker guys keep in mind that you can see the same color the same design has the speaker here you have a speaker here you have a speaker kind of I'm not sure about that but here you have for sure and then you have that uh, speaker there and then again another speaker there so look how they integrate the speaker they didn't put it in the a pillar or stuff like that or in the corner they integrate it somehow in the dashboard so it's really interesting the way they do it here you have the the controls for the lights guys and then the brightness of the screen and yeah other than that i think you already know that let me go inside the vents by the way are really nice integrated right here in the dashboard really love the way they, they, they put it there also you have another vent right here and then you have another one and another one and it's all completely straight out something like tesla model 3 one line and i and i see on many cars these days this is kind of a trend right now also here on the dash the same leather same great material even here nice design uh, really interesting how they put this speaker here um, it's really crazy something unique that i didn't see it before and i like it i like the way they think some kind of uh glow box here it's quite okay it's quite big not big not small but it's perfect then you have the power button right here pretty nice finally someone right power button and not start engine or stuff like that here you have this armrest in leather or yeah this material and then open it up here you have a huge space you can also close this like that 
So you can open it up and then you have a 12 volt port and some huge storage space. So you can put a lot of stuff down there. And I like the way they continuing. You can see this is the armrest and they, they, they do a unique design. They continuing here with the same kind of an armrest and they integrate in this armrest, I should say, uh, the gear shift by wire gear shifter uh, that you see it also on other models from uh, Ford. Uh, automatic models of course electronic handbrake blinkers and also the parking assist uh, very nice those are almost the only one physical buttons inside this car uh, we have a few ones here on the doors but other than that the multimedia system you have to control it with the touch screen i will show you in a moment so for example if you go in reverse the car comes with 360 degrees camera of course you have to press the brake and if you press if you go in d and press this l it's kind of the l button it's kind of a, a recuperation energy more than normal so yeah, it's kind of a B mode in, on the uh, on the other cars, on the Volkswagen, for example. Then you have two cup holders here. Uh, then you have a huge storage space right here where you can charge your phone wireless or you can leave it right here if you don't want to charge it. You have another space and you have two USB ports, 1C, 1.2, super awesome. Yeah, other than that, going forward, this is the screen, guys. Uh, the new cockpit. Finally, Ford come with something new and I'm super happy, super excited. And I'm also excited to see this screen right here, the multimedia system, but we will talk in, in a moment. So first time guys, let's talk a little bit about this cockpit. Uh, the cockpit, it's nice. It's a little bit longer and bigger than on the Volkswagen ID, for example, where you have the smaller one, here you have a bigger one, but in, in general, they do the same thing. Uh, it show you the speed, the, the range, the consumption, a few information about the cruise control, the navigation system, somehow it's show you there on the left side. And um, yeah, not the navigation, just the direction, I should say. Here is the speed and here will come the uh, traffic speed limit and also uh, the traffic sign that you can see it also in other video in the uh, video with the test drive. Here, guys, something interesting, it's here, it's the same as on the BMW, the car can have some sensors here in this area that can read your eyes, for example, when you're tired or stuff like that, and these safety features will help the car with those safety features. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know in which way I didn't ask or I didn't go in detail, but I think it's for example, when you are tired and you drive for a long time, it will warn you. Or for example, when you are on autopilot and you don't pay attention, you have your head uh, on the rev side, it will see that and it will tell you to, to take control or stuff like that anyway. I'm not sure, guys, if you know that, just write me in the comments. Uh, anyway, let's go forward. Visibility from the driver point of view, it's perfect. I mean, you can see perfectly there. You can adjust the steering wheel in every position you want from down here. You can put it a little bit upper like that. So you have a perfect visibility. And also here uh, you have great, great visibility. And also you can adjust different function, very simple. Now here on the steering wheel, by the way, steering wheel, it's, it's made also by leather soft the same soft, they, they keep this soft design even down here, even up here, uh, red stitches and it looks gorgeous. You have this logo, Mustang logo in the middle, look beautiful. And then you have those uh, button for cruise control here. You can control uh, all that uh, tempo mat and cruise control stuff. And then you have here the controls for the music, tracks, uh, voice command and telephone. Pretty simple and, and nothing fancy, nothing different. And then if we go forward, um, here to the multimedia system i think here we have to talk a little bit more about this screen it's a huge screen probably bigger than what it's in model s and model x uh, it's really huge screen one of the biggest screen in a car ever and the only physical wheel it's here where you can control the volume uh, but other than that everything is controlled uh, with touch screen and you have uh, it's simple it's kind of split in in a few parts that you can control it and adjust it. You, you have the upper part where you have this button and shortcuts button where it can get you in different different uh, views. For example, trip, you can see the consumption if you go to the trip here and it will show you the consumption on the last trip, computer trip one, computer trip two, 
and and stuff like that and then you have the navigation it will get you directly to the navigation you have the phone it will get you to the phone and so on and then uh, tire pressure trips apple carplay android auto radio stuff like that if you go up again um, you have also manual owner manual nowadays the manual come virtual here on the screen no more on the paper or stuff like that so don't expect to find any more on the paper the manual and you can find it even easier and you have videos and stuff like that anyway and then you have this car here and you press the car it will get you to all the important vehicle settings for example press once you have controls and settings on the settings you have everything more detail in the controls you have the most important uh, fast accessible things and here you have free driving modes active whisper and untamed on the active if you look here you will have balance drive fun and engaging that mean active is kind of a, a normal mode uh, in the other cars why whisper it's kind of a whisper kind of a calm seamless drive calm and quiet this is the echo mode and then untamed it's sport mode in other cars on the sport mode yeah of course it say it will be one with the road the car stuff like that and keep in mind that you have free driving modes that you can change it from here and also on every driving mode you have the possibility to choose one pedal drive auto ambient light select uh, propulsion sound propulsion sound it's a very interesting sound when you accelerate the car you will hear something like a combination between electric cars and uh, combustion engine so something aggressive something nice I like this sound I really like it check out the test drive there you can hear it good camera 360 degrees camera as I show you before you can see around the car what happened when you're driving great system I like it very much as well uh, if you close that uh, parking here you have this park pilot to help you uh, park access access to charging port uh, open the trunk and all other stuff Come, then you have the driver assistance systems auto hold keep in mind you don't have a physical button you have to activate from here traction control as well not like in other cars you have to activate everything from here and valid mode when you want to give the car to someone you can put a pin there i explain all those settings also in the other video then you have the sound here you have all the settings the radio the phone the charging uh here you can see the car how much is charged and how many kilometers you can still drive then you have the personal profile driver assist uh, assistance here you can change and control different cruise control for example uh, limited lane assist stuff like that uh, speed limit assist lane assist pre-collision uh, blind spot technology and all other safety features that you can control it on the car then you go to vehicle and you have another set of settings that are so complete uh, vehicle power down timer easy entrance my key alarm uh, chim, chims, chims, or how they call it, sounds, I mean, the car makes some sounds or not, when they are parked, windows, wipers, light, lock, mirrors, a lot of settings, really crazy, crazy, crazy settings, I also explain everything in the, the other video with the multimedia system, there you find all the infos, I don't want to go too much into detail right now, on the review, check out on my channel, the video should be there, uh, language, you can change the language, whatever language you want, you can change it from here, Celsius, Fahrenheit, um, kilometer miles, bar or uh, PSI, and display here you can see the brightness of the displays uh, the clock the connectivity um, vehicle hotspot system update the car can do updates the same as on the tesla uh, can do so that's awesome mobile apps by the way you can connect your android auto and apple carplay with the car without any problem also you have some around 10 colors ambient light that you can change it inside the car so those are the most important settings of the car and then we go forward let's go to the navigation I want to show you the navigation it's super nice it doesn't use Google or stuff like that but it's very nice it's big you can have it all over the screen you have a 3d map you can set the the destination and it works quite fine and I, I noticed that it doesn't have uh, any lag so it's work quite fine if you set a point you go go press go and then 
the, the drive to highlight a route. And then you can see also here on the screen how it show you. So it doesn't show you a map. So yeah, quite nice, quite simple, super nice to adjust. It's work fast, it's loading fast. So it used probably the same navigation system, if I'm not wrong, like the previous uh, versions, but it's nice. Also you can deactivate it from here and yeah, 3D map as I said before, so it's quite nice, quite nice, super, super nice, nothing, nothing uh, special. Now down here guys, you have another area that you can also expand it from this button, you can expand this area, so you can see owner manual, you can see all the last things that you see it on the car are here, also you have Android Auto by the way, you can connect your phone uh, to the Android Auto and you can use all that settings from the phone. I'm not going to do that because you need a cable, but I have another video special for that. Good, and the navigation. Now, let's go all the way down. It's such a big screen that I need to use wide, wide angle on my camera. But going down here on the, on the, on the down part uh, is the climatic system. You can extend it from here, from this button, and it shows you a nice graphic like on the Tesla. And in this graphic, you can choose different functions. For example, where to come the wind from upper side, from downside. You can see a nice graphic down here. It's really interesting how it looks. Really, really cool. And not only that, but also you can choose dual or not. You can choose the temperature from here. Also with your finger, you can play it. Uh, you can choose auto if you want auto. Uh, or you can put it on manual from here, just like that. One, two, three. You can choose the, the speed of the vans. And you can also turn it off from here if you want to, just like that. It's off right now. Then you have heated steering wheel, heated seats for you and a passenger, free position, of course, and then maximum. And then you have one more thing really interesting that I want to show you is this button. Who knows what's this? This is for the windscreen. The windscreen has some little lines. I'm not sure if you can see them uh, inside. And in the winter, you press that button and it will defrost the window, the windscreen in, in just one minute or something like that, really fast. So anyway, I think I'm done. I think I show you almost everything, guys. I don't think I miss something. If I miss something, just uh, write me and ask me. Uh, up here, you have the mirror quite nice big mirror good visibility uh, nice edges tiny edges LED light also up here you have a glass support up here I like that something that you don't see in the car these days and I like also those mirrors with this LED light it's super fancy the way it looks a microphone on the roof handle and other than that great visibility around the windows I said that also in the test drive you can see it one more time um, it looks quite quite good overall uh, great design, great car, lovely car, not great. Um, it's one of my favorite design, exterior design uh, car, electric car in this class. And yeah, lovely. Great material quality, great multimedia system, screen, comfort. I love the car. The only thing that I don't like is the price. I wish it was cheaper, but yeah that's it guys you want a mustang an electric mustang you have to pay for it and yeah it's it's really beautiful beautiful car so guys i hope you get some information i hope you like it also if you have question ask me anything you want please like it and share it that will mean a lot for me also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the newest videos that come on my channel also check out our website sdadancar.com there you find articles videos uh, information about how to buy a car and all kind of stuff um, I will leave the link in the description also to the car here in Switzerland at um, Tehash Wheelie. They will help you if you want to test drive, if you want to buy it, if you want to see it. Just contact them guys. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, I hope it was useful. Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.